Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Brainstorm's 25th anniversary. In honor of this very special event, we're taking a little stroll down memory lane. And let's go to that memory lane to the elections in 1989, and that was for TV in Spain. For the first European elections, when broadcast 3D graphics did not even exist yet. That is correct, Anthony. And then it was later in 1993 when Brainstorm was actually founded. And it was done on the idea of how to create a 2D virtual set. And do you know how we did this? Please tell us, Veronica. So it was basically done by synchronizing a background recorded in a laser disc with the foreground by positioning the laser disc with the rotation of the lens wheel of the camera. Wow, interesting stuff. I did not know that. I know. But it was in 1994 when we created our first 3D virtual set with Mike Oldfield introducing his new CD, Songs of a Distant Earth. And a few days later, the Antenna 3 Daily Weather Program was awarded Best European Weather Show of that year. The very first daily virtual set ever broadcasted. Crazy, right, Veronica? Oh, quite crazy. In fact, I'll show you something even crazier. OK, wait, so is, back this, in is this a mouse? Yes, that's right. In 1994, this is how we used to track the camera. So we took out two rotating cylinders from an old style mechanical mouse and then attached them to the pan and zoom lens of the camera. Wow, I did not know that either, Veronica. Moving on, though. Since then, we created thousands of events and election shows. Just to name just a few, the NHK 1996 elections in Japan, or the NBC 2008 elections in the States, or the BBC, where we did all the elections for five years in a row. That is correct, and it's thanks to all this hard work that Brainstorm now has installations all over the world, as you can see in this globe. And let's spin this globe and look at those clients. Happy, happy clients. Happy clients. Now, let me remind you of another little story, Veronica. Do you remember the movie Artificial Intelligence? The sure. Spielberg movie? Yes. That was like 20 years ago. Now, did you know that was the very first movie where film pre-visualization technique was used? No, I did not know and that. And it was done with guess who? Brainstorm. How did you know? Exactly. And it was highlighted in the Computer Graphics World Magazine ILM Article 2, which came out that time. Now, it was also used in other movies like iRobot, Speed Racer, Alice in Wonderland, and the X-Men series. Incredible. Technology wow. has really changed a lot since then, hasn't it, though? It has. But look oh at wow. this scene now, Veronica. What do you think? It looks real, right? Yeah. That's because it is real. It's been captured using photogrammetry technique using real from the real world. What do you Incredible. think? Incredible. But hang on, is this rendered by a game engine? No, this one is being rendered by the Brainstorm engine. Of course. I mean, look at those graphics. There's no comparison. No comparison. Now, Veronica, I would like to say another thing. Whoa, 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 who's oh, that guy? Who's that, do you know? Can you see that guy? Uh, uh, we're just presenters, leave us alone. Watch out, watch out. Whoa! Hey, it's OK, guys, it's OK. Hey guys, um, now that is what I call a little bit of brainstorm magic. I think my heart just stopped a little bit. No, that was just good graphics. Fair enough, so good, I thought they were real. <laughs> now this is a game engine render. And it looks like we are now in a news virtual set. Look yeah, at the exactly. shadows, the reflections, the colors. I mean, it is pretty impressive stuff. Yes. Look at the amazing quality that can be achieved these days using real-time ray tracing. Look how the objects are reflected inside each other. The detail is just exceptional. And even though it is a game engine render, Infinity Sept is always on top, controlling, controlling in a single interface all parameters of all the engines. That's because Infinity Sept puts together many elements, and the graphics engine is just one of them, from tracking and Interaction with other devices, controllers, mixers, chroma keys, newsroom workflow, or journalists. All those components that are needed for broadcast operation. And now for some more good news. Due to our cutting edge technology, Brainstorm has just been awarded by the Google Digital News Initiative to develop an augmented reality <laughs> teleporter system for immersive news. Yes, indeed, Veronica. 
And to finish off, let's take a look at some of the recent work produced by our clients over the past year. Like WWE's amazing AR content for WrestleMania, CBS Inside Edition, or CNBC producing more than 3,000 graphics a day. Veronica, back to you. And now here is another example of a sequence that we reported in the Spanish Parliament where the presenter was teletransported live on TV on election night. And now, are you ready for something else? Whoa, how did you get there? Just well, a few steps. This is a little something that we call the magic window. Now just notice these graphics behind me. Look, it seems as if they are behind the screen. Just notice the depth. Notice the detail of these graphics. Veronica, you want to see great detail and the depth? Now, to us right here or to anyone here, this looks like a normal tactile table. But looking at it from the camera's perspective, what you see is a little bit of brainstorm magic. Now, you can move players with your finger just like that. It's so easy to use. You can change formation. And Veronica, what you can do as well is let's go to substitutions and let's go. Number 10 for number 8. And there we go amazing stuff i'd like to say thank you to all our clients without you guys brainstorm would not be here today so we really appreciate it thank you i've been anthony i'm veronica and we'll see you soon thanks for watching goodbye